radicals down here. And this is the last one sitting at the table. Radicalized Islam. Islam, as it's done in the Middle East, they have the oil, but they also have something else that is a trump card, and that is God. I should, I should make that. They have faith. They have faith on their side. They believe in something. George Soros, all of his minions, all of his minions, they only believe in money. Faith in God trumps money every time. And everybody that he has to rule, he rules over. Are you for George Soros' plan? Do you even know what his plan is? How about Russia? Russia, radicals, they have to, both of them in the end, have to have a thugocracy. China is a thugocracy. And Islam, the ultimate. Chop your head off in the Middle East if you disagree. It's not the same Islam here, gang. Who gets control? Who gets control? They're all playing for the same world. But you notice I didn't say the United States is sitting at the table. We are a card. We're a card. We're not a player. If you don't think this has happened before, it has happened before. How did the most powerful naval force in the world for nearly two centuries just disappear? Remember when we started, we had to build new uh, ships for England. How is that possible? On the Navy, on, on the Empire where the sun never set, how is it possible? Because we were this player at 1918. That was us. We had the money, and then we told people what to do. Islam, no matter what anybody else says, Islam, in the end, is the winner because faith trumps all of these things.